and that ministers will always need to respond to events in the UK and around the world. However, it is frustrating for Honourable Members on both sides of the House where major planned announcements are scheduled during periods when the House is not sitting, particularly towards the end of recess. Whilst I appreciate the Government informing me directly on developments on some of these issues, that does not substitute informing the House. If announcements made towards the end of last week had been held over the weekend, then non rural members would have had the first opportunity to question the Secretary of State on it, rather than learning about it through the media. Ministers should come to the House to announce their policies in the first instance, if that means waiting a few days, and the excuse that we may have an election elsewhere in the world is not my concern, because it is the elected, because it is the elected members in this house on both sides that I represent. Secretary of State David Lamming. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm very grateful for your instructions at the beginning of this statement, and with permission, I will make a statement on the conclusion of negotiations on the exercise of sovereignty over the British Indian. Ocean Territory. On Thursday, the 3rd of October, 